It is the 17th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start tonight with a disclaimer because I have a lot of new subs, and uh, not everybody's on the same page, obviously, and that's why I try to bring you the stories um, as layman as I can because me as a layman myself learning this stuff, um, you help me understand what's going on, and that's what the community is all about all together. So basically all I'm doing is documenting what I'm finding as I find it. So if I pick up a story that's six months old or ten years old and I deem it noteworthy, I'm going to make a video. But in highlight of that um, Moon Orbit is Wrong video I put out, of course the community have come together and uh, Polly's Customs uh, sent me a link and uh, the Vortex solar system provided by Dr. Kashava Bayat. This means the end of ac academic heliocentric clockwork of or clockwork face orbit theory, intended uh, invented by Catholic military priest Nicholas Copernicus, and later cherished by Newton, Brahe, Kepler, Galileo, Einstein, Hawking, Sagan, and the rest of their academic uh, ilk. And uh, I will attach the, the, the link to the site that uh, Polly sent to me. Uh, this is a guy I very much trust, trust his opinion and his digging abilities. I mean, the data pile is so massive, it takes many of us to find this stuff. But anyway, on down the list it goes. Um, basically, it explains uh, that the sun's not a uh, two-dimensional ring thing. We're basically uh, spinning through the cosmos. Uh, like a DNA strand, so basically the, the planets wrap down back below and that's what gives us our tilt and our angle. So this must very much have to do with uh, the wobbling orbit of the moon and the sun and uh, what's going on there. But what I wanted to point out is, uh, it goes on here, when seen from outside of the solar system, the solar snake is, is creating the so-called wobble due to its vor vortical tra trajectory above and below the galactic ecliptic. A powerful mind can mentally image these processes in space and craft is not needed in order to gain this perspective. The Maya, Inca, Egyptians, Indians, Indonesians, and Native Americans, etc. all knew this and represented the solar force as serpents, or twin opposing serpents. So basically, uh, our solar system, we got a big fireball shooting through the universe, and we are kind of spinning along behind it and all the math that that entails that I have no clue about. But I'll definitely touch that below, check it out for sure. Uh, I learned a lot today. Over to SOP.net. Um, we're going to go ahead and start the climate change. I got a 5.7 magnitude rattles the coast of Ecuador. And uh, got a food crisis in Bangladesh, population explosion, and earth changes leave country looking elsewhere for farmland. And you got to remember this country is sinking. And uh, flooding's just ongoing. Out of Ohio, we got a story uh, mystery smell dissipates after prompting 911 calls. A pungent order invaded a local community, forcing many concerned residents to call 911. The smell was gone by Tuesday night, but it lingered over Lorraine for several hours Tuesday morning. And people kept saying they smelled natural gas or they smelled propane. And uh, the firefighters went to check it out and couldn't find any leak source. And it kind of went away. And it's funny, every now and again, Mom just kind of releases these gases. And uh, so, I don't know. That's kind of weird, huh? We got a strong magnitude 6.2 earthquake hits eastern Indonesia province of Papa causing panic among the residents, uh, but no immediate reports of damage or casualties. And that's all they have new tonight. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, Turkey living in fear, desperation, and trembling as quakes continue. And you got to remember there are literally tens of thousands of displaced Turkish people, people afraid to live in, uh, go inside their houses because it's cracked and they're still having all these aftershocks and, and, uh, going on on top of uh, winter settling in. And we have severe weather sweeps through the United States southeast. Uh, the RSOE's got tornado reports up and down the, the, the Appalachian um, southeast up to the 
New York, I believe. Oh, and here we go. The crackdown Pentagon lays out U.S. policy in preparation for cyber warfare. You gotta take your freedom to protect you. And regions of D Japan deemed too radioactive to grow crops. Uh, and apparently they're mapping out large swaths of property that are just way too radioactive to even attempt to slip past uh, everyday Joe. Over to the U.S. Uh, RSOE tonight. Um, um, nothing really new on the RSOE about El Hero. It's an ongoing thing. Uh, again, tornado reports coming out of Mississippi, uh, Indiana, and the state of New York, uh, Georgia, so all up and down. We have a nuclear event out of the state of North Carolina, Southport, the Brunswick Nuclear Generating Station had an unusual event, which is the lowest alert. Uh, apparently they had a coolant leak, and uh, it's under control, and no harm to the public. Um, other than that, uh, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and go over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, RSOE has a story, um, of course, on the radiation over Europe. Uh, apparently the French have detected a large cloud, and they said it's not a threat to them. To the, um, to the population, but they were more hinting towards that this might be a medical facility accident and not a nuclear generating plant uh, because it's just the I or the 131 and not um, a cocktail of uh, different radioactive isotopes, which would entail a nuclear fusion. So, um, again, nobody knows where it's coming from, but it's still happening. Uh, over to ENE News. They are up tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and cover them. Uh, we got the Japan nuclear minister with strange sores on face. They have photos of him. Uh, emperor unable to leave hospital. He has lost his appetite. New respiratory infection. Radiation now triple maize levels in some Soma City's Nida River, double for Mano River. And their rivers are just completely full of this sediment um, and again they can't stop uh, the truth from leaking out of what is Fukushima. Uh, we got a major, major website mystery cloud of dangerous iodine 131 over Europe is absolutely cause for concern certainly deserves more than 129 words by the IAEA the almighty IAEA. How much money you got? Another story, watch. Fukushima worker films as radiation spikes to 1.3 sieverts per hour. That's uh, 1,320,000 microsieverts per hour. I'd say that's a little extreme. 26 houses decontaminated. Only four were reduced to target. Official radiation levels not, will not drop as easily as expected. It never does, especially when you're dealing with plutonium. Uh, we got a, looks like a Twitter, Fukushima Diary, I'm under their surveillance. I can't post everything I know. And then uh, next day writes, four men interrogated me. So, you know, much like my John Bolenbaugh video earlier today, uh, the intimidation seems to be um, the order of the day for these companies. Radiation precautions for areas near Seattle, Vancouver, Vancouver, Portland. Perhaps you need to wash your shoes and other things. They have a video attached. Uh, the NRC email 10 hours after quake, quote, we all need to say a prayer, unquote. They are struggling to shut down the plant in Fukushima. And, uh... Finally, city workers in date find radiation rising unexpectedly below the surface, while another buried radium bottle blamed for Tokyo hotspot. The insanity continues. The insanity continues. Um, finally, I'm going to say good luck with your surgery, Mr. Too Tough. Um, it was my pleasure to send that to you, and anything that can get your spirits up. Just know that, you know, people do care. And uh, we're all in this together. We really are. So uh, enjoy what I can, brother. I'll see you around.